Why are we decorating this place just for us? We're not doing it just for us. We're having a lot of people over tonight. Oh, yeah? Hey, you didn't invite the staff at the hospital. No, our whole family of friends. Let's see, we're having Miriam and Babs and the Redlands, Dave Phillips. Oh, Dave. Oh. And Lucille and Harold Webster. Mm -hmm. All those people who cared about us all year long. Now we can make sure that they know we care about them. Well, that's better than trying to be nice to all those people who were so mean to you all year at the hospital. I happen to work with some very nice people. Thank you. Who usually complete the jobs they start. You know, we always did appreciate when you and Dad told us the real meaning of Christmas. Yep. This is what Christmas is all about. That little baby born 2,000 years ago in a manger. In Bethlehem. Simple beginning. A birth that said that almighty, all-powerful God loves us so much that he sent his only son as a fragile child to lead us back to him. Christmas, Aaron, and we'll see you after the new year, okay? okay thank you, Dr. All right, bye-bye. Oh, hi, guys. Uh, hi, Dad. Okay, go sit down. Dr. Phillips will be with you in a minute. Hey, I'm going to be an extra Christmas. Come on, you'll be lucky if you get breakfast on Christmas. I am, too. My dad's going to get it for me. <laughs> Who's your dad? Santa Claus? <laughs> you ain't ever seen your dad. Yeah. I know where your dad's at. Your dad's in jail. You're just jealous because I'm going to get a BMX. <laughs> well, boys, when I was a little girl up in the mountains back in the dark ages, if I wanted to give somebody a Christmas present, I had to make it myself. Did y'all ever make a boomerang? No. What's oh, that? Oh, well, I'll show you. It does not take but just a second to make, and it works. Wow. It doesn't work. Well, watch, and I'll show you. Watch that you breaks. Hey, that's neat. Can Isn't I have one? <laughs> No, you can't have one, but you can make one. <laughs> there is one thing we've got plenty of around here, and that's tongue depressors and love. Love. Oh, yeah, love. Talk that's about what Christmas love. is all about. Love's like a boomerang. It's hard to give away. No matter how much you give it out, it just don't seem to stay. Try to see if you don't believe me, but I know for a fact that love is like a boomerang. It just Keeps coming back. Oh, Christmas is a lot of things. There's a lot of things it ain't. Some think it's expensive gifts, and some folks know it ain't. It started in a stable years ago in the town of Bethlehem when God's son was born to prove to man how much he loves him. Now love's like a boomerang. It's hard to give away. No matter how much you give it out, it just don't seem to stay. Tried and see if you don't believe me, but I know for a fact that love is like a boomerang, it just keeps coming back. <laughs> okay, now listen. This year when you make your list, instead of what you want to get, see how much love you can give. It's sure to make a hit. It don't cost money and it's sure to please, so go ahead and try it. It ain't what you get, it's what you give when you come right down to it. Cause love's like a boomerang, it's hard to give away. No matter how much you give it off, it always seems to stay. Try and see if you don't believe me, but I know for a fact that love is like a boomerang, it just keeps coming back. <laughs> okay. Give them love and a great big hug, cause can't nobody refuse it. <laughs> Mistletoe is fun, you know, but some folks will abuse it. <laughs> Let them have the real thing that comes from above. above. Open your heart, pour it out, all oh, that Christmas love. Cause love like a boomerang, it's hard to give away. No matter how much you give it out, it always seems to stay. Try to see if you don't believe me, but I know for a fact. Lori, I really can't believe all the stuff we have to pack just to take him over to his grandma's. 
Okay, we got three bottles of formula, blanket, diapers, poo poo panda. Lori, I packed everything I can think of, um, but I still feel like I'm forgetting something. How about the baby? Oh, hey, big guy. Aww. You know, I packed less for a two day trip than he needs just to go to his grandma's for an evening. Are oh. we complaining? No, I'm not complaining. He is. <laughs> I'm just amazed. Here, will you take him for me? Sure. I've got some stuff to come get here. out of the bedroom. Oh, come here. She been mistreating you again? Huh? Yeah. That's better. Wanna go see the tree? Hmm? Wanna see the Christmas tree? Here, look. You're gonna be traveling in satin cushioned comfort with only me to protect you from the dangers of the world. I know, you see? Oh, my dear son, I can give you riches and love and education. You know the most important thing I can give you? Oh. It's to teach you to know your God. Oh, to know that he loves you. He's counted every hair on your little head and every whisker you'll ever grow. And I pray every day that he protects you, gives you wisdom, love, peace, and great joy. Ben Martin, sometimes I love you so much that I could just bust. And this little fellow here is going to know what a terrific father he has. So give him to me. Oh. And you take the stuff down to the car, okay? And I'll be right down. <laughs> we'll be right down. Won't we? Mm. Mm. I love you. <laughs> hey, my baby. Hey, my baby. Maybe we need a steamer trunk for all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to Grandmama's house, Scotty. Yeah, and you're gonna start learning all about Christmas and about the baby Jesus. You're gonna learn all about him. Some children see him lily white, the baby Jesus born this night. Some children see that tastes just like store-bought eggnog to me. Store-bought eggnog? What do you mean I slaved over a hot stove all day to make that eggnog? Mm. Hey, Babs, thanks for letting me have the rest of this eggnog. This is great stuff. Slaved over a hot stove, eh? Uh-huh. Babs Farley, are you trying to deceive us? No, look, really, I, I did make eggnog from scratch, even. Uh -huh. But something happened, and I, when I was cooking it, it got a real thick and weird, and I had to throw it away and go down to the store and get a couple of cartons. <laughs> well, you just may have thrown out the best thing you ever cooked. What are you talking about? Well, when you cook eggnog, you get custard. You do? You just threw out a whole big batch of custard. You see what happened when you tell a bunch of lies? You just make a mess out of everything. Babs, I got a question for you. 
Are you living in an old man's rubble? Are you listening to the father of lies? If you are, then you're headed for trouble. If you listen too long, you'll eventually die. Are you puzzled by the way that you're behaving? Do you wonder why you do the things you do? Are you troubled by your lack of resistance? Do you feel that something's got a hold on you? Are you living in an old man's rubble? Are you listening to the father of lies? If you are, then you're headed for trouble. If you listen to There's a spiritual battle There's a voice of the darkness And a voice of the light Just by listening you've made a decision Cause the voice that you hear Is gonna win the fight If you're living as a new creation If you're listening to the father of light Then you're living in a mighty fortress And you're gonna be clothed in the power and might Are you living in an old Listen, buddy, now you've got a choice. You can help me pack your sister's gear, or you can take this fruitcake that your mother baked and put it in the tin there and get everything ready to take over to the Davidsons. Do I have to go? It's just going to be all of you big folks sitting around talking and singing. Jimmy, Christmas is the time to get together with your friends and talk and sing. Now, Eric's going to be there, too. Well, I know that, but there's nothing for us to do there, Dad, except listen to you old folks talk. Old folks talk? I like you, too, little buddy. Well, what's you... this I hear about old folks? Jimmy's out here complaining that the fact that he's going to have to sit around over the Davidsons and listen to old folks talk. Well, yeah. Well, if you can't talk to the old folks, then maybe you're just going to have to talk to the young folks mm -hmm. here. Sit down. Hold your sister for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, my baby. Well, I just meant there's not enough kids there. Well, you're just gonna have to get bored by us old folks. Ain't that right, Grandpa? Uh-huh, that's right. Now, what? Hey, 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 hey. Come on over here and get this old bag of bones a little bit of sugar, huh? Now, now, baby, don't be too demonstrative in front of Jimmy. I think it makes him uncomfortable. Makes him uncomfortable? Mm -hmm. How else am I gonna show Jimmy how to be a husband if all he ever hears me doing is complaining about bills around here and talking to you about how good your cooking is? Right, Jimmy? As long as it isn't mushy. Listen, there is no lecture that I can give Jimmy in his entire life that will explain to him how much I love you as him seeing me tell you. Longer than there have been fishes in the ocean, higher than any bird ever flew, longer than there have been stars up in the heavens. I've been in love with you I'll bring fires in the winters You'll send showers in the spring We'll fly through the falls and summers As the fire starts to melt, burning lies in the book of our lives. Though the binding cracks and the pages start to yellow, I'll be in love with you. I'll be in love.
I got it! Okay, okay, okay. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas. Hey, what's with the bell? Why didn't you just walk I didn't have a hand for you to open the door. Oh. Where's Lori? Uh, she went next door to show the baby to Mrs. Thompson. Oh, let me give you a hand. Ha, 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 very good. Oh, you creep. Where'd you get? Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Ah. <laughs> Hi, Errol. I'm so glad that you could make it. My pleasure. Ah, oh, the gathering of the clan. Now it's really starting to feel like Christmas. Oh, oh more <laughs> people are up. Hey, Oh, which stuff? Oh, uh, this is little Alicia upstairs in Lori's old room. Okay, and all of this stuff, fellas, follows me. Okay, and the fruitcake goes to the kitchen. Here you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, didn't you forget something? Oh, I bought the baby diapers and everything. We didn't forget the baby. No. Dave and Lucille, you were supposed to pick them up on your way over. Uh -oh. Goodness, Dave's gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Consider this training the father for this, buddy. Be back in 15 minutes. I gotta get to the clinic. See you guys. Well, I really thank you for asking me over, Terry. Well, maybe it's because everybody wanted to know about that new evidence you found. Well, I guess I better be going. Oh, don't you dare. I'm sure you've got good reasons for keeping it to yourself. Yes, I do. Believe me. Well, that's fine. Christmas is a time we should forget about all our problems anyway. You'll get no argument from me on that. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Oh, Harold, thank you. Oh, you didn't have to do this, but I really do appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. Can I open it now? Please do. Okay. I'm gonna sit down here. Oh, this is beautiful. Let's see. Oh, oh Harold, it's beautiful. A menorah. That's very nice, Mr. Webster. What is a menorah? Well, a menorah is used on Hanukkah, the Festival of Lights. That's the holiday to commemorate the rededication of the temple. You mean the temple in Jerusalem? Yeah, that's right, Jimmy. See, 164 years before Jesus was born, Judas Maccabeus ran off the Syrians who had invaded Israel, but they desecrated the temple. They had to purify it. Did they purify it with the menorah? <laughs> no. There was a lamp in the temple called the Eternal Light. God had commanded that this light should never go out, but they only had one day's supply of oil. God made that one day's supply of oil last for eight days till they could get a new supply. The people knew it was a miracle from God, and ever since then, the menorah has been lighted to commemorate that miracle. Did Jesus celebrate Hanukkah? As a matter of fact, he did. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John. Well, if Jesus celebrated Hanukkah, why don't we? I don't know, Jimmy. That's a good question because it was truly a miracle. Peter! <laughs> look, there's hey. Peter, look! Hey, Tiger. Mrs. Thompson loves Scotty. I bet she did. Will you make an eggnog? Oh, make me some. Okay, okay. I'll be right back. Right back. Everybody here, it just seems like old times, doesn't it? Old times? Yeah, you know, when Daddy was with us. I mean, he always had an ongoing open house at Christmas. Mom's trying to carry on the tradition. Boy, it's this time of year I really miss him the most. I long for one of those man-to-man -man talks. <laughs> he always made me feel so good, no matter how dumb I was. <laughs> he also made me think I had something special to overcome problems. No matter, well, I just, I said, be true to myself, you know? Yeah? And true to the Lord? I'm trying. I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, he always told me how beautiful I was. I mean, it was very important to him to convince me that I was beautiful. <laughs> well, I don't know why. Look at you. Look at you. Oh. Yeah, but I had a mouthful of braces and I was roly-poly. And... True. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what a girl looks like on the outside. It's her daddy who really convinces her 
that she's beautiful inside and out. I miss him. <clears throat> I do too. Oh, no. 